Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nyx owed me a favor, and gave me the heads up. Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? I know this doesn't look good, but... I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. I'm not the one with motive here. First, I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. 
an internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? The existence of a device that can control a person's mind is terrifying. Imagine the horrors you could... Oh, never mind. I don't want to think about it. Because she knows I'm the most believable target, I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. Yes, it's what the technology does, and it explains why the evidence against me is so solid. Come to think of it. It also explains a few strange bouts of disorientation I've been having the past few months. I know it doesn't look good, but that's exactly why I've been gathering my own evidence. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind a desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Nix's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. That may be the case, but I can't have Ularu thinking she'll come out of this unscathed. This evidence will cast enough doubt that she'll never make CEO, so at the very least, we'll both be ruined. Given more time and resources, I'm sure I could put together a full case. But right now, neither of those is a luxury that Dalton's going to allow. I can't do that. The moment I step in that building, Dalton will lock me up, and Ularu will be on high alert. You really are naive when it comes to corporate culture. Once I'm back at Ryujin, Ularu will be looking to tie up any loose ends. So I can stay here and deal with you, or I can go back and deal with her. Which is why I'm hoping you'll take this evidence to Dalton. Of course you do. Look. If you just bring this slate to Dalton, I'm sure he'll understand, but if I go with you, everything is ruined. It's your choice. Do you want the truth? Or do you just want to be employee of the month? I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. So Ularu is the actual culprit. That complicates. Well, 
This amount of firepower is a bit of overkill, wouldn't you say? See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? Inside the Syndicate? That area's off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk. And I can be a very patient person. Fine. Fine. I won't push. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Excuse me? Let me close this door before you say anything else you might regret. Just a moment. Shutting the door, and engaging locks. That's better. And that's quite the story you just threw in my face. Not to mention a serious accusation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. You really think I'd believe that?
It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. I'm not sure you'll get anywhere with that forceful tone. In comparison to an active op, you may have a point. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. Please. It's insulting that you think I'd actually be working for someone other than Ryujin or myself. That depends on how you define innocent. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. It was never my intent to involve Imogene. But when you arrived with information on Project Dominion, I knew Infinity had screwed up. I had no choice but to act fast. Imogene is the only one that Dalton and the others would believe was capable of pulling this off. It had to be her. It's all part of my plan. But don't worry. Infinity LTD will never be able to complete Vena's work. I made sure of that. What do you think? If someone was a threat to your family, would you be satisfied waiting for them to strike? Of course not. You'd eliminate the threat before it had a chance to act. In some cases, before it even realized what it was capable of. Oh, I'm no traitor to Ryujin. I'm the one that's going to keep this company on top for decades to come. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? That would be my side. I can see to it that you'll not only get a raise, but a substantial bonus, should all things go my way. Now that I know where your loyalties lie, I suggest you act as if nothing's changed. If you're looking for a scapegoat on Project Dominion, you can feed Imogene to the wolves. When it's time for the next phase of my plans, I'll let you know. Imogene? I was afraid that evidence Nyx provided would be legitimate. Ularu will be very disappointed. 
I'll have Yuko determine her position so we can start tracking her. Were you at least able to gather any data on how she was able to access Project Dominion? And this is precisely my concern against such technology. I'll be sure to bring this up to Masako. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vina Kara's office. Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of Ray Dakaris, Ryujin's founder. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAm schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes. Details. You see, the internal neuroim. The first part, the part infinities. The second part is a shielding modification designed. Well, we can't. But the shielding aspect was never officially a part of Project Dominion. It was an afterthought of how to safeguard our own people from being manipulated. So it was being researched separately as a mod. The research itself was in early stages, too early for board approval. So only myself, Demarcus, and Masako know. You got that right. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. I think implanting that device into your head is a mistake, but it's your choice, not mine. Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the Rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karine station. My thoughts exactly. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again.
The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A-3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by... something. Don't worry. Thank you. 
contact. Reminds me of the bunks on a UC Navy ship. Everyone crammed into the smallest area possible to maximize space.
zeroing in on anything useful. Calculating. And orbit state. Jump complete. Want to do it again just for fun? No? Maybe. You are clear to dock at the clinic. The best medical facility in the settled systems. Series off limits, authorized personnel only. An outbreak? I haven't heard anything about this. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. Say this is a firm violation. Look, yes. We got what? that ship. Although who knows what Faye expects me to do with it. But maybe a proof. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several... volunteers. So far, only one patient has survived. You're telling me? When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by, and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. 
between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? You think we stood by and did nothing? We did everything we could to save them. You've no idea how many hours we spent in surgery and how closely we monitored each and every one of them. <sighs> it's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Those are human lives we're talking about, but you're treating them like data points on a slate. Infinity is the one that should take the blame. We're victims here as well. No, he's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? Yes, and you're going to let them too. Go ahead. Get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more?
to hear a joke? Uh, sure, sweet pea. The old man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Everybody! You know my great-grandfather made that time. Approaching ship, you enter three-star collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. <laughs> <laughs> Good All right, Gordon. My beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. So I've heard. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? The mercenary group? Only that you mean business if you hire them. They're not known for subtlety, and don't care if they leave a trail of bodies in their wake. I take it they were at the station? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Sticking ecliptic on a station with nothing but miners and scientists? Corporations can sink low, but this is a new level. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Dr. Lane? Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work. Specializing in neurosurgery. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died. And you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Unfortunately, your skills will be needed elsewhere, but only for a brief detour. I'm sure you remember your actions during Directive Theta, especially in regards to Administrator Bayou. Thanks to your inability to follow protocol, we now owe him a debt. One that you get to pay. I knew it. I knew that man would find a way to make us do his bidding. His reach is terrifying. You do, so listen up. The administrator wants us to 
deal with a rival operative. And when I say deal with, it means he wants them dead. This is not an assignment I give lightly. Good. Find the operative and do what you must. We already have a team prepped to handle any fallout. When it's done, report back to Dalton. I have a meeting to prepare for. <laughs>